Okay, let's bring this back, how the modern world is parallel with your creations of the Zoathlon concept and the rise of the Zugabrian Time Lords. Uh, th these are from your writings. The wait, 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 we all know that in order to, to speak the truth, it's better to use fiction. So, fiction is a cover by... Which because people can can't handle the truth. No, it's not just because people can't handle the truth. It's a certain etiquette involved and if you just push something, boom, right there, because we're always handling the truth. That's the thing. Well, people every day have to handle the truth. And it's right there. You know, so when you're pushing other stuff and you're trying to actually get them to, to pay for it, you know, or to make space in their lives for it, which is still payment, you can't always just hit it like, you know, because they get the fist every day. So sometimes you have to just bring a little bit of seduction into the process of hearing, and this is also true. If you yes, you yell at them, all of life is yelling at them most of the time. Some people need to be yelled at. And especially me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Zoathlon um, is the reality that's not controlled by the nefarious Time Lords. And uh, the see. See, the, yes, the Zoathlon is an idyllic space whereby, protected under the cover of our own global warming system, we can live the lives that we ourselves feel are natural to us. Outside of that, the Zugabrians, the Zugabrian Time Lords, wish to crash that reality, wish to uh, up in that programming, right? To say, we have now broken into your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this, bam. So this is a whole different reality. But you watched the football game. You were happy watching football. You had your beer. You had a pizza. Your boys was around. You know, there was even a bong in the corner out of the way, just in case the cameras were watching from the TV. But it was there. And boom. And all of a sudden, the game, and like Heidi. Remember the Heidi game? Oakland and the Jets? Oh, yeah. And they, brought, they, they turned on Heidi. Yeah. And then the, yeah, all of a sudden, the, it was the a game. Super Bowl. It was the last two, three minutes. <laughs> Bam. Here comes Heidi. We now take you to regular schedule programming. And hey, you know, like, like, people ooh, lost their mind. Lost minds. their mind. What? It was the last four minutes of the game. It was a great game. <laughs> so, you know, it's like all of a sudden they pull a hiding on the situation. You go like, bam! Oh, what's going on? The uh, the Zugabrians are the bad guys who control it. Like Zoathlon is the concept of that's uh, of the paradise that we lived in before. Basically, we came in with all the uh, regulations and in the communism of the situation and the, the whatever. It's just. There was a period in time where we trusted our own lives, where we trusted ourselves to be the masters of our own lives. Where we trusted that if we're children of the Father, if we're children of God, then we know some shit, right? And we can do, look after ourselves. Then the Zugabians came and says, no, you don't. You don't know yourself. We know you better than you know yourself. And you're going to listen to us tell you who you are. Because we know who you are. We take your profile, we have all of your information, and we know how much porn you watch, Bishop, when you're away from the congregation. You know what I mean? And it's like, and we're going to control your reality. And it's sort of like, that's what the Zugabrians are. The Zugabrians are that force that just cannot stand the fact that the, the children of light have a connection with a good life that works for them. Because why should you have a good life that works for you when someone else can break in, steal your life, give it to you, and sell it back to you at the same time, you know, and control you? So it's just the eternal battle between good and evil is life is yours. No, life is not yours. Life is ours. But for a good fee, we'll sell it to you at a good price and give you insurance. So... That's what this duathlon is. Life as we know it exists in our consciousness, in our minds, as a possibility to, to raise ourselves to actually being able to tolerate one another. Oh my God, I can talk. He's wide, oh my God, but I love him. What does it mean? It means that somehow I see beyond situations and I see into his heart that he's just as fucked up and confused as I am. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know I mean? yeah, but he's still got to feed himself. He's still got to feed his culture. family. And he's still got to figure out a way to survive all the situation. The Zugabrians basically representing the system to make you 
have to pay for every single realization, every advance, every step forward, bam, you're going to pay. But at the same time, like I'm saying, is that that raises the zoathlon because the zoathlon is willing to go through the punishment to achieve reality. And the ultimate reality is that you are a direct connection directly connected to what has created reality and therefore you are part of, of what creates reality. Go forth, be fruitful and multiply the realities that you are blessed to envision and see because it's only the reality that you see that will save you. You will not be saved by somebody else's vision. You will be saved by the vision you have to extend reality one day forward and as far forward as you see reality because the great insurance program of being a son and a daughter of a father is that you have been given the powers you share in the inheritance of the powers that the father has which is to create life and creating life doesn't just mean making a woman pregnant create life also means you have an idea and that you'll be damned if a beatdown will stop you from realizing it. Uh, I think this, the, the Zugabrians is such a, a great metaphor for a lot of the uh, sinister control of our lives. Now, let me read a couple things from your writings. Um, uh, associations loyal to the Zugabrians are the Mutual Suspicion Alliance and the <laughs> Alarmist Brotherhood. I mean, that completely crystallizes life today. The Mutual <laughs> Suspicion Alliance. But this is the thing I love. The um, uh, resistance was often corrected by placing the reckless in a state of scrambled pixelation. Um, a good friend of mine, a uh, beautiful lunatic comedian, told me he thinks that we are all unconsciously building a time machine with all of our selfies and Facebook and videos that we take and uh, the status updates and the people of the future will be able to travel back in time as far as photography goes. So your sentence Ask really letters. knocked me out that like uh, uh, the, the, the scrambled pixelation would be the ultimate punishment for our life of vanity now that we put so much on this mantle of the internet, you know? that that would be the way to really control people. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a, have a sip of whiskey and Absolutely. think about it. And this is why basically, I probably shouldn't have as many sips of whiskey before I write. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> lady, huh, I said that? Yes, yeah, yes you did, it's right here. Um, point being is that we're all awakening to this realization that so far, it's kind of been a journey of discovery. And that, in fact, most of all, what we have been conditioned to believe is reality has been controlled by beings like ourselves, perhaps older than ourselves, who have learned how to manipulate holographic energetics to be perceived as reality that we participate in, as opposed to shadows that we are interacting with. As we interact with the shadows around us, it's the same as to say, we are interacting with a pixelization that could be future, that could be in the future. It could be programmed this way or that way. I have an app, and you probably can get the same app that can basically change whatever has happened five minutes before you enter the room. It can record, it can record things that happen five minutes before you enter the room as if you were already in the room. There's actually an app you can check for yourself that exists like that. So it's just to suggest that time as we know it has not been fully explained to us in its full capacity. So if there's, let's say, 12 numbers on a clock, we've only been explained six of them. There's only there's another six numbers on a clock that exist that we are collectively a part of that we don't completely understand but we're still a part of. Because as you said, there are people who also believe that we have so advanced in the future, or aliens have so advanced in the future, that every moment of our reality has already been computer programmed and we're just following a program. 